Hey everyone, hope you are well. Top 5 reasons to say no to an MBA. Before starting this video, I would request everyone to not take this too personally. I have myself completed MBA from, from one of the best institutes in the country. My only intention here is to present a different viewpoint to the already prevalent positive one. I do not intend to give any advice to anyone or to disgrace or disappoint any person or institution. Please take this as an independent opinion or research on the subject matter, but proceed post deep introspection as per your own discretion. Point number one, to say no to an MBA. No assurance of a stable job. Let's go a little back. Why do most of us want to pursue MBA? And I say most of us. Why do most of our parents want us to pursue MBA? The most prevalent and common viewpoint there is that MBA helps us to get a stable and respectable job in a stable and respectable company. I believe given the recent mass layoffs globally with lakhs of MBAs getting fired left, right and center. I would like to have your viewpoints in the comment section. How much of this still holds true? In my opinion, this is not true at all, irrespective of which company, startup or Fortune 100 company, industry, new or stable you are working at. These days, doing an MBA does not really guarantee you a stable job, even if you are one of the top performers. Point number two, you can't run your own practice. I am not talking about starting a company or being an entrepreneur here. The fact is, you can have your own setup, you can have your own startup. But again, please tell me in the comment section, how many of these startups actually make it? Most of these startups don't even have any plans of making it to a stable cash flow and a stable future. It all looks like a valuation game to me. It all looks like shooting in the dark to me. Although choosing a professional like CA or law or medical allows you to have your own practice and be your own boss. Again, tell me in the comment section your opinion on who is more financially stable on average. Again, a well-renowned lawyer or an MBA grad working in a big four firm. My intention here is not start a competition in a futile war, but we must dedicate some time to think on this before spending lakhs of rupees on a degree, which might not in the long run give us what we want. Point number three, lack of practical and hands-on knowledge. Please see that educated does not mean employable. Most of the MBA colleges out there only impart gyan, so to say, believe it or not. But uh, you know, in most of these MBA colleges, there are brownie points given to each candidate for class, partip uh, class participation, which is a more fancy word for giving gyan. Most of the research papers that are being taught in an MBA college can be referred on Google or you know books like Kotler which is a very famous marketing book taught in MBA school can be purchased offline and you know then you can read it and study that book. The compulsory summer internship which is in place for most MBA schools can be done anyway. You do not need to enroll in an MBA school to do an internship in a company. I see little to no advancement in any gain in any practical knowledge which can be attributed purely to an MBA. Please tell me in the comment section how many of your managers have asked you to do a portal analysis or SWOT analysis like you know you do in your assignments at MBA schools or you know during your examinations at an MBA school. Point number four, MBA is not a niche skill anymore. Maybe 
10, 20 or 30 years back since they were very less reputed MBA institutions or for that matter any institutions at all which used to impart management knowledge less truly qualified management professionals were in market I'm speaking about 10, 20, 30 years back due to which there was a massive demand but I believe this does not hold true in today's world these days lakhs if not tens of lakhs management professionals are being pumped up into the market but uh, the supply does not justify the demand whatsoever for every management graduate who is fired or leaves his job hundred if not one thousand others are waiting to be recruited uh, you know let's do an experiment go to LinkedIn search for a relevant job in your function and please comment on how many average applicants do you see for that job LinkedIn gives you this information point number five does not really guarantee you a pay hike if you have completed your undergraduation from almost a nothing college and at a very you're presently at a very low salary then it might guarantee you a pace rise but for those of you who have already completed undergraduation uh, from one of the top 20 colleges in your field and uh, are earning let's say 50 percent less on an average uh, you know as compared to the average salary package at your dream mba college in my opinion it is seriously not worth pursuing an mba it is seriously not worth it sacrificing two years of your experience and uh, tens of lakhs on a course to arrive at a designation where you might anyways already be if you continue your current employment or switch on to a new employer with a 40% hike which is not at all hard to achieve these days. The logic and transparency with which MBA colleges present their average salaries is again an entirely different topic. Tell me in the comment section, I'm not going to uh, you know, discuss this in detail over here, but tell me in the comment section about the average placement figures of your colleges, particularly MBA colleges, and your comments on it, on how transparent and true they really are. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. If this video helped you and motivated you, share the same in your network and follow me on YouTube and LinkedIn for more such content. Thank you.